morning to all. Hope you all are fine. Today I am here to teach you history. So today we will discuss the first chapter of history and the topic is rise and spread of Christianity. Before starting, I want to tell you that your history first chapter is divided into two parts. So today I will discuss the first part of it. In this chapter, we will discuss rise of Christianity, Christianity in the Roman Empire as official religion of Rome, decline of Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire, organization of church, impact of Christian monasteries. Next. Now, first of all, we will discuss about the medieval period. In this history book, you are going to read about India in the medieval period. That is the period between the ancient and modern periods. Many of our religion languages, religious belief, social traditions and administrative system can be traced to the medieval period. During this period, during this time, India interacted mainly with Europe, which was under the influence of Christianity and with West and Central Asia, which were under the influence of Islam. Hence, it would be worthwhile to learn a little about this religion before we begin our study of medieval India. At various point of time, societies in different part of world have suffered misery due to prolonged injustice and disorder. At such time, great individuals come forward such as Gautam Buddha, Vradaman Mahavira, Jesus Christ, Prophet Muhammad, and Guru Nanak. It is interesting that their teachings were such as the establishment of peace and harmony based on the principle of cooperation and nonviolence, promotion of love, equality, and tolerance, establishment of a moral code of conduct. Compassion for all, including one's enemies. So now next is rise of Christianity. Christianity arose in the land of Judea, in bracket that is mean modern Israel, which was then a part of the Roman Empire. Second point, at that time, Judai was in a state of disturbance. Third point, the Jews whose religion was Judaism inhabited Judai. They closely guarded their religious law and rituals 
they were very unhappy under roman rule the jews particularly disliked the roman custom of treating ruler as gods and regarded it as an insult to the jewish religion they awaited the appearance of messiah or savior who would deliver them from roman domination also under roman rule the gap between the rich and the poor widened the common people showed deliverance from the miseries it was under such circumstances that christianity arose four point jesus of the city of nazareth was the founder of christianity he was born a jew he was given the title christ which in greek we <coughs> means the anointed or one who has attained divinity the bible is the holy book of the christian the word bible means book the bible includes the old testament which record the origin of the jews and the new testament which record the deeds and teaching of jesus the story of jesus life has been told in the four gospel which form the first part of the new testament now next is early life of jesus first point jesus was born to mary and joseph at bethlehem near jerusalem in judea his birth is celebrated as christmas on 25th december every year the day of our system of writing dates of event is centered around the birth of christ that is before jesus birth or marked bc which stand for before christ the year of his birth has been universally accepted as ad where ad stand for anno domini in that is in the year of lord jesus spent 
a major part of his life at Nazareth in the region of Galileo in modern northern Israel. He was a learned, honest, frank, and fearless person. Jesus was disturbed by the economic and social inequalities of his time and the decline in moral values. Now next is Jesus' teachings. At the age of about 30, Jesus set out to preach the message of love, humility, and charity among the common people. He was kind to the weak and he said to have healed the sick. Jesus spread his message in the common people's language through simple parables or short stories. He gave examples from everyday life to explain God's ways. He attracted many followers, many Jews began to regard him as the long-awaited Messiah who would deliver them from miseries. So now he's teaching Jesus, priest of God's mercy and love. He assured all people including the poor, the suffering, the sinners, and the outcast of final salvation or deliberation from sin. Second point, in his sermon on the mount, Jesus laid down a moral code of conduct for his followers. He advised them to be humble, to be kind, forgiving, merciful, and loving towards others. He strongly discouraged greed and hypocrisy. Third point, Jesus advised his followers to hate sin and not the sinner and to repay evil with good. He discouraged meaningless ritual and the worship of multiple gods. He referred to God as Father and to himself as son of God. Fourth point, Jesus foretold that the kingdom of God would be established on this earth and there would be a day of judgment when God would reward the writers and punish the sinners. Now next is crucifixion. Jesus 
popularity among the common people alarm the upper classes and some of the jews who saw in him a dangerous rebel they complain to the roman governor of judai the jesus has defined defined the roman emperor by claiming to be the king of jews according to the roman law this was a crime deserving punishment by death jesus was arrested he was sentenced to death by crucifixion that is by being nailed to a cross by the wrist and ankles jesus was made to wear a crown of thorns and carry the heavy cross to mount calvary he was then nailed to the cross at the top of the cross his crime of claiming to be the king of jews was inscribed in the local languages so that everybody could read after about 3 hours of intense jesus died Jesus was crucified on a Friday this event is remembered as good friday according to christian tradition Jesus rose from the dead on the third day of his death his coming back to life is celebrated as easter every year jesus is said to have ascended to heaven after this the cross became a holy sign of christianity now this is the assignment in this course first question is where did christianity arise so these questions are from the topic which we have discussed up now so you have to search and write the answer in the rough copies now second question is name the two part of the bible third is how is jesus birth related to the system of writing dates fourth is what is crucifixion fifth is describe the teaching of christ now second question is from the chapter 1 exercise part that is the fill in the blanks and true fall so this exercise you have to do in your 
book only. Thank you.